Hey Mech Warriors, welcome back to Overplay's Mech Warrior 5. This is the uh, Russell Haig career mode. Um, we're back for our second missions, etc. Uh, we have our uh, priority transmission is now three months out, so I've squandered half of it already. Um, I've done the repairs, and quite frankly, a couple of these are going to be a month just waiting for them to, to finish up in the cataphracts a month and a half and I really want to go up here and do this uh, mission here but it's a uh, three part and if it's all over this area I don't have travel time but I'm going to give it a shot and if we just plain don't finish it we just plain don't finish it um, priority goes to going to the uh, priority transmission, of course. Um, I did not change any other battle mechs that were in here. I just took a look at what I had available. So with that little bit of knowledge, we're going to go on up here and take on some stuff. Hopefully. Put it to bed. This must be a, this one. Let me close and take a look. Yep, dragon in sheep's clothing. Okay, that's a, uh, I think a Kestrel Lancer mission. Let's uh, take a look and quit mumbling, huh? Sorry. I get a dragon one in at the end of it. That's not too bad, and that's worth pushing for. Let's see if we can get this done. A 40 demolition. <laughs> Last time was a uh, 200 and, oh, it was a 27 at 200 tons. Why is that one green? Haven't seen that before. I'll take it. Two million? Of course, everybody's still in repair. And we can't afford to wait because we're out of time. So, um... Well, that was slow. Let's see what I can do. Thunderbolt. Notice the commander is one of the lowest skilled folks out there. under ton so I get everything, but am I up to speed for what I want it to be? And the answer for that really is not really. Um, this position should be the archer in support. I'm taking this for the flamer and the PPC. I'm sorry, the flamer in the SRM-6 for destroying buildings. I think it's a demolition for the first one. Should have paid attention. Not going to go back now. Two large lasers. That's a good one. For an energy... Yep. You get the uh, crab. Nothing but energy. 
to have anybody better. I do. It's actually better with missiles too. It's all part of that learning who your guys are and what, what they can and can't do. I should be in something that's going to kill a lot of mechs. That's the bottom line. And just uh, make it my job is to defend all my people. And for that I got uh, Thunderbolt or the Grasshopper. I'm not even counting the awesome in because it's only 48 kph. The Victor might be good. I gotta go back and take a look at something though. It's got three tons of ammo, they're just all in the wrong place. So that's uh, 60 rounds. I'm going to hold off because I've got a feeling I might need that later. That's also the reason I'm not taking the grasshopper this time. Might need that later. Let's just go have some fun. See what happens. Of course, the hope is I don't get blown up. That'd be embarrassing. I've been playing this at least every day, almost every day, almost every day, for at least three years. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. Free stuff. Looks to me like they've really uh, brightened up the uh, signal for where the loot is. Well, that's a lot of noise in the background, ain't it? Hope you're not hearing that. Yeah, I know, but Opa, they say, why are you running right down the path that they easily created for you to follow? Do you not know that's where ambushes are? Of course I do. Wait a minute. Key one. These three mediums. PPC. Missiles. Flamer. Flame on, Johnny. I'm good. What I should have done was checked every mech I was going to drop and put those all in the right order, too. I'm rushing things just a little bit. Now, what I could do is switch to every one of them and set them up now, but they won't stick, so I'm just not going to do that. Keys you can push in this is G, which makes uh, everybody move at the same speed, which is the speed of the slowest mech out there. If I had ballistics right now, I'd be destroying those buildings. 
So they don't. Yeah, that's cool. It's showing the uh, recovered salvage. There we go. What I've already recovered under optional. That's pretty cool. Ooh, an assault mech. Getting that sweet. Of course it is. Just a charger. There's two of them. I've played this a few times in the regular game and there's not two chargers here. That, that's kind of heavy on the... Come up and punch me to death then, go ahead. I'm ready to die. We got three assault mechs. At a level six mission. Note they are not shooting at what I tell them to shoot at. Wow. I'm a little bruised. some sound artifacts too. Oh, here comes a dropship. Yeah, I'm showing heavy damage to me. Yeah, that's about a bit too much. Oh, might as well get two heavies. What the heck? I'm done. This is uh, definitely biting off a bit more than I can chew.
lost the PPC, I see. Don't stop me from shooting what I can and getting away. Yes, I am. Yeah, we're definitely not going to make out of this one. Ahead on the money, that is. No, no, you kill that Warhammer before we go. There you go. Wow. Just wow. It's because she's my operations commander, not my accountant. Hmm. I might have somehow miscounted, but I counted that as three chargers altogether and two heavies. When they come at you one at a time, it's okay, but when they throw all three of you of them at you at once, oof. Hmm. Well, I lost a PPC, but I will be replacing that with a uh, large laser. No, no, that was two chargers and a uh, rifleman. And then the ending was a, uh, uh, what was that? Warhammer and an Orion. So, just for the record. I did my damage. So did everybody else, all things considered. Everybody else came out okay. And looks like the uh, Wolfhound pilot is a good dancer. Nobody got raised up in levels, including myself. 71 days. Well, here's the bottom line. I'm not going to get nothing out of that six-month period except for uh, bumps and bruises. No way I'm going to finish that uh, in 71 days. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do a repair and look at and try to configure the best I can. I'm also going to go back and look at uh, Dragon and Sheep's clothing or whatever that mission was and see how hard it was for the other guys. And yeah, I do keep notes. I'm, I am well aware, or will be well aware of whether or not that was a normal Dragon and Sheep's clothing drop or not. Anybody else out there that uh, can clue me in on that, give me some feedback. That was... Uh, that was much heavier than I expected for a level 6 uh, combat drop. Everybody else had, that was beat up has been repaired except for the uh, cataphract, and it's coming, I think. 
including the, the lasers. Some things I already missed in my uh, yet another mech labs. I can just hit repair all, and it repairs everything all at once. Okay, we're putting that in there instead, and that gives me back two tons. And I'm not sure, oh, well, I'm sure one thing I'm going to do is take that off and put, put that in. Small energy slot. You had to do it. I thought flamers were one tonners. I truly wish I could make that go better, but I can't. Hmm. Always go max armor. I tell myself that every time, and I sometimes do forget. Take the two off the head. Give me some of that heat sink magic. But you know what? That's a silly stack them up over there. They should be stacked here. That way if a critical hit does come in, you get get through the armor. If it's gonna destroy something, it destroys something meaningless like a single heat sink. Not your all your weaponry. Firepower is 82.4 on this mech. That's pretty good for a 65 ton mech. I usually look at the uh, a 65 should get me 65 kind of thing. So, 38 days. Nothing on him. One day, yep. It's a scratch in this paint. You know what, speaking of paint, while I'm sitting here, I need some. This guy does not look as anywhere near as sleek and sexy as he should be looking. It's that big nose, Jimmy Durante. Let's paint him. Obviously I've played this for a bit and I've got uh, quite a lot of paints that I like. I'm a red, white, and blue kind of guy, but I'm also a renegade. That looks kind of busy. Okay. Then there's always the black on black. close to, uh, who was it, the, uh, God, I can't even think of them, never mind, leave it be, that's not right, yellow boot, let's go with yellow boot for now, you can always change it later, select all, apply all, hey, an achievement, the easiest one to get, I click the button, Okay, 38 days for the Thunderbolt to get ready. 58. I got 6 million C bills burning a hole in my pocket, and I'm pretty sure that uh, I should come out of the uh, DLC campaign, slant career, whatever you want to call this coming up fiasco reasonably okay on the cash so pretty sure I'm gonna wish I had a better assault mech but I just don't have one what I do have is the Zeus and a Victor and an awesome the awesome is the PPC variety the 8Q, having three PPCs scattered all over the place. 
Lots of heat sinks. Lots and lots of heat sinks, but he's not fully armored up. He's pretty close. Four here, four there, twelve there, okay. Couple there. I love the fact that it's got all these single heat sinks, but what I don't love is the fact that I don't know what it makes the heat, whether or not this is viable or not. And I can chain fire the PPCs all day long and wait till they cool. And that should work. So we're going to leave it be. He is a pretty fellow. This one worries me. Normally I put an AC-10 high tier or a uh, LBX in place of the... Uh, AC-20, <coughs> mainly because I want it to fire faster. And with a 20 there, I can't do the damage I like to do. Also, I don't really like the fact that as an assault mech, it's got one big weapon and it's on its arm. It's just too easy to lose. And that's four extra tons for something. But I got nothing really to use the four extra tons for. And that's a problem for me. I mean, I can always max armor because 368 is nowhere near. There you go, 128 points in armor. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to definitely trade uh, jump jets for armor every single time. Thinking about going with this guy. This would do 14 tons. 12 tons, give me two back. Doesn't do as much damage, but the rate of fire is 22 times per minute. Whereas this is 12, so 10 times more per minute. Hmm. In the range. I got to do it, folks. I'm not going to bang any one-shot holes in an atlas with this, but I'm going to do better than I was. Ah, uh, come on. I didn't miss it by that much. <laughs> okay, hang on. Get myself organized here. Ammunition, two times. You're out of there. You're out of there. And that's 40. We'll get one more ton of that from the market. will buy too, just as a contingency. Notice I swapped out the four for a six. We will need a full ton of that. Excuse me. <coughs> never fast enough hitting that pause button. Sorry. Okay. Still got three more tons to go. We're going to stick these down here. If only there weren't arms. I'm buying them. Somebody will be able to use them. But not on this mech. 
I just don't trust it. Maybe the grasshopper or something. Now the aggregate of the changes I've made are only 0 0.42. That's not bad, considering I dropped the 20 for a 10. And I'm going to run a whole lot cooler. And I still got uh, cooling I need to put back in. I just bought those. Oh, I'm being silly. Okie Now I'll put an extra hundred yards on the range. And picked up a little extra cooling, but the big number of change really is the 128 for the armor. I only dropped four for damage. 32 days. That's not too shabby. Mr. Grasshopper is a energy boat. There, I did it first this time. Okay. It's a small LRM. I got to think about that for a second. Normally, I would swap that out for a SRM, but an SRM4 is a piece of crap, too. So instead, we're just going to take these off, put those two in, and we'll do weapons groups on the way out of here and uh, upgrade that, and then we'll oh, we're already max armor. Hmm. He's already a pretty cool fellow at 2.2, isn't he? I just don't know. I mean, really, all I got is uh, more cooling. I'd love to put that uh, three over here, but it just it doesn't make any sense. 17 days and we're off. We've already looked at him and I didn't see anything I really liked as far as upgrades that I could do with the money I've got. And I've still got five million C bills. And that's worth looking at. I think that Warhammer was, yeah, seven almost. Out of my range, out of my range. You can't go stumbling in with no money whatsoever, because if you do, uh, you're sure as heck going to lose and get stomped on. And I don't see it taking the uh, Centurion as a game changer. eight days out of which I already have to spend because I don't know what the travel time is going to look like so I got to be ready for it I've already got uh, 38 on necessary for repairs and I'm going into this just as blind as everybody else is so what I'm going to do is call this an episode um, so I can save it and go from here. So, comment, like, and subscribe. What do you think so far? Looks challenging. I don't know what's going on with some of these missions, but that was pretty challenging. Um, I don't dislike challenge, but I do expect to be able to proceed through the game. That's enough said. Enough whiny Opa, okay?
Yep. Opa out. 3rd of April. 3031. We'll be back at 30 April 3031 for the next mission shortly.